And also see like tiny dot satellites flying around and well, like, sure. rockets. Yes. I wonder if they would be able to, I really think about that. Like if they, if aliens were to visit, I mean, would they really see humans as the thing they should be focusing on? I think it would take a while, right? Because it's so obvious that that should, because there's like so much incredible, in terms of biomass, humans are a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction. There's like ants. They would probably detect ants, right? Or they probably would focus on the water and the fish because there's like a lot of water. I, don't, I was surprised to learn that there's more species on land than there is in the sea. Like there's 90, I think 90 to 95% of the species are on land. Than or on the, land? On or land. Not in the sea. Not oh. in the sea. I, I thought like there's so much going on in the sea, but no, right. the the variety that like the branches created by evolution, apparently it's probably a good answer from evolutionary biology perspective, why land created so much diversity, but it did. So like the sea, there's so much not known about the sea, about the oceans, but it's not, um, it's not diversity friendly. What, what can I say? Hmm. It, needs, uh, it, needs to, it needs to improve its diversity. What can you so do you see? think the aliens would come? I mean, the first thing they would see is, I suppose, our, our cities. Assuming that they had some idea of what a natural world looked like, they would see cities and say, these don't belong. Which of these many species created these? Yeah, I mean, there's, I if I were to guess, it would, it's a good question. I don't know if you do this when you look at the telescope, whether you look at uh, geometric shapes, like if it's, because uh, to me, like hard corners, like what do we think is engineered? things that are like have kind of straight lines and corners and so on, they would probably detect those in terms of buildings would stand out to them because that's that goes against the basic natural physics of the world. Um, but I don't know if the electricity and lights and so on, it could be, I, I honestly, it could be the play, play tectonics. <laughs> It could be like hmm, that, uh, the, like the volcanoes. That'd be okay. That's a source of heat, and then they would focus. They might literally, I mean, depending on how alien life forms are, they might notice the microorganisms before they notice the big, like notice the ant before the elephant, because like there's a lot more of them. Depending what they're measuring device, we think like size matters, but maybe with their tools of measurement, they would look for quantity versus size. Like why focus on the big thing? Focus on the thing that there's a lot of. And when they see humans, depending on their measurement devices, they might see we're made up of billions of organisms. Like the fact that we have, we're very human centric. We think we're one organism, but that, that may not be the case. They might see, in fact, they might also see like a human city as one organism. Like what is this thing that like, Clearly this organism gets um, aroused at night because the lights go on. And then uh, and then it, it like it sleeps during the day. <laughs> I don't know. I, how, like the, what perspective do you take on the city? 